Well, these are five knots that I use all of the time. You may know some of those, the criteria I use to pick them. They had to be fast and easy to tie. And of course, some of them are stronger than others. So depending on the application, you would wanna choose one over the other. And down below, I do have the five of these knots listed in the chapters. So you can jump right to the knot that you want to learn and practice. So if there's one of them you know, you can just go ahead and skip right over that one. So let's go ahead and get started. The first one is the improved clinch knot. This is probably one that most of you first learned. Lots of grandparents taught us how to tie these knots or parents. It is a just a really simple knot to tie. Works for many applications. So let's jump into this one. Okay, I've got some eye bolts here as well as some paracord. Now paracord doesn't cinch down as nice as fishing line does, so I'll do my, do my best with it. But let's go ahead and get started. I want you to be able to see it. So you go ahead and slip this through your lure or your hook, pull it through. And then the next step is to go ahead and twist the line. Some anglers like to go ahead and hold the line up here and then turn their lure. That works, turn it five or six times. Me, myself, I always just did it this way. One, two, three, four, five. That's gonna work for me. And then you're gonna go ahead and put it back through this loop down here at the eye. So go ahead and slide it back through here. And then you're gonna put it through the loop you just created. And go ahead and pull it down. It's not gonna be pretty. Okay, especially with paracord. And then, of course, you would cut your tag end off, but that is the improved clinch knot. Super fast, super easy, and it has worked for many of us for many years. The next knot is the double line uni knot. I just did a video on this a couple weeks ago. If you're using fluorocarbon, this is an excellent knot because it doesn't snap down and cut itself and break off like when you're using a Palomar knot. The double uni knot is something that you're going to tie on when you're using those power hook sets, those really hard hook sets. It's a good one. And like I said, especially with fluorocarbon line. So let's go ahead and get started. You're going to slide it through your hook and then put it back through. All right, so we've got just a bunch of line here, okay? Uh, very much starts similar to the Palomar. So we got a lot of line. You're going to go ahead and put them together. All right, so you've got all the pieces of the line here together. Go ahead and hold them in this hand. Then I like to use my pinky to assist myself in making this next loop. So I'm going to take the loop end, all right, this loop end right here, bring it back around, hook it on my pinky. And then you can see the loop I created right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put that through there three times, two, let me get a little bit more here so you can see it. One, two, three, and then start to pull it down. All right, and it is at this point that you would go ahead and wet the knot and then slide it down. To cinch it down, I'm gonna pull on my main line and the tag end. We'll see how it slides on the paracord here. Not too bad. All right, so then I've got it all cinched down. And if you notice, you've got this loop here. So I've got my tag end and my loop. And when I cut it, I'm going to cut all three of those. Get your main line out of the way, cut all three of those. And you'll know that you did it right if you have three little tag ends sitting there. So that is the double line uni knot. And man, it is strong. It's a good one. The next knot I want to go over is the Palomar. It might just be the fastest knot to tie, but it's not a good knot to use with fluorocarbon because it tightens down on itself when you set the hook, especially a hard hook set, and it can break. But if you're using like monofilament and top waters, some presentations like that, the Palomar is going to work great. I use it all the time on my drop shot rig because I can put that tag end back through and make my leader. So let's get started with the Palomar. We'll go ahead and put it through, then put it back through the eye, just like we kind of did with that double line uni. All right, then I'm gonna go ahead and make like a half hitch, take this loop, and then pull it over my lure. Now, if you're using a drop shot, make sure you put it over 
the top of the hook okay hook point up like you're going to want your drop shot to sit and then you can go ahead and cinch it down this palomar does not cinch well in paracord okay but there's your palomar knot and then you would take your tag and put it back down through if you're doing a drop shot okay with the hook sitting upwards back down through and then this I could put my drop shot weight on okay so the palomar knot I still use it all the time I'll mention another video at the end that offers another option for a knot if you're using a drop shot rig okay the next one is a connecting knot between a main line and a leader so if you have a braided main line and a leader this is an excellent knot to use i like to use the red phillips knot as i said earlier as my qualifiers it's a very very fast to tie there are many excellent connecting knots out there so maybe you have a different one that you like but because of the ease of this knot that's why i use the red phillips Okay, so here I've got two pieces of line. I'm going to use this chartreuse line as my main line, my braid, and then the red is going to be my leader. So the first thing that you want to do is take your leader material and tie just a half hitch into it. Let me get this out of the way. You're going to want to take that leader, tie a half hitch. Okay, just like this. Now take your braid or your main line, I should say, and then put it through. Make sure you give yourself plenty of line. Go ahead and put it through, and then cinch down your half hitch on your leader, but it does not have to be crazy tight, okay? You want it to be able to slide. Next, take this hand, hold both ends of your leader and your main line, okay? So I got leader, leader, and then main line right here. I'm gonna go ahead and make a loop with that main line and then start to tie like I would with a uni. Now it's real important, see this knot up here? This is my leader material half hitch. This knot wants to stay above the loops that I'm gonna make here. Otherwise the knot will just pull straight through. So keep this covered up and then go ahead and put this through. One, two, three, Let's do four for now, and you can just make these nice loops, okay? And then you're gonna go ahead and grab that main line and start to cinch it down. And see, here is the half hitch in that leader material. Here is where these loops started. And then I can go ahead and start to pull this down all the way. Pull that leader end, both of those leader ends. And then boom, here is my red Phillips knot. And this right here is what I was talking about. That half hitch in your leader material wants to stay above it. So as you are pulling now on your leader material, that half hitch is going to be bumping into all these loops you made with your main line. So there's the red Phillips knot. It works really well, well for me. It is a good one. And the last knot that I want to go over is a Snell knot. If you are flipping with some big old huge flipping hooks into emergent vegetation, this is an excellent knot to use because it kicks the hook up and penetrates easier into the mouth of the fish. Now, it's important with the Snell knot to make sure that you come in from the hook point side, all right, kind of like we were doing with the Palomar. So let's say I've got this as the hook and then this is the point coming up like this. So I'm going to take my line and come down through the hook points up here, okay? Go ahead and pull some line down and then go ahead and rest it along the shank of your hook right there. Now I'm going to make a loop back. Okay, so I've got a loop back and then I'm going to go ahead and wrap my snell however many times you want. I'll go ahead and just do three times here. And then when you tighten the snell knot, you use the main, <coughs> excuse me, the main line here. Go ahead and cinch it down. And there is your snell knot. And the nice thing about this is when you cut that tag end off, okay, well, I'll cut that off, and I, let's say I've got a worm weight here, and then when I pull down on it, it kicks that hook up, 
And that is what people love about this Snell knot. And hey, if you would like to watch a video on that other drop shot knot that I was talking about that holds the hook in place really well, go ahead and check this one out right here. And make sure that you go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.